107.3 KFFM. Welcome to your Mental Health Monday. And I've got a professional in the building. Hi, Jim. Hi. You are the Community Education Coordinator for... Comprehensive Healthcare. Ooh. And it's a Monday, and we are in the holidays. What are we talking about today? We're talking about the holiday blues. No, it's the holidays. We should be in a good mood. We should be in a good mood, and should. we can be in a good mood. Okay, how do we get in that good mood? Well, first off, let's talk about why we are maybe not in a good mood. That's fair. Fake oh, it till you make it? That's right. That's right. Holidays bring on a lot of emotions. Anxieties. Anxieties. Stresses. Loss of sleep. Overcompensating. And there are people missing from my table this year. Oh, or somebody wasn't allowed because they couldn't stop talking about something that they were asked to stop talking about and they just keep doing it. That's right. I'm not talking about anyone specific. I'm just saying. Could be a divorce. It could be a death in the family. Yes. Or you know, it could just be the first holidays as an empty nester. All of those things. It, It is. You feel empty and you don't know why. Yep. And some reason, holidays really brings that out in people. What do we do with all that extra emotion, Jim? Well... We need to be aware of it. Okay. We have it. So it's okay to accept, I feel like crud right now. It's okay. It's okay to feel that way. Why am I not sleeping very well? Mm. Why am I feeling so anxious? Why Why am I snapping at people? Why am I snapping at people? That's like the number one one, right? (laughs) Why can't this holiday be better? Oh. Why can't everything be perfect? Oh, because nothing's perfect? Because nothing's perfect, but we want to do that. We set these super unattainable things for ourselves, and we're never going to get there. You're always going to be sad. And everything comes crashing down. Oh, no. And then you're crying because you ate too much gravy and stuffing. It happens to all of us. And then it gets cold. Uh Uh-huh. And then it gets gray. And then it's snowing and you forgot to switch the tires out or you put the fluids in the wrong thing and now you've screwed your car. I mean, there's there's just the list goes. We could do this all day. Yes. (laughs) It all comes at once. Yes, it does. It It feels like the end of the world. So when you're feeling like this, Jim, I am so happy to have you in here. Comprehensive Healthcare is here to help because everybody feels these things. Everybody does. Everybody yes. know that. Even that person like me, who's all like, oh, it's Susie Sunshine over here. I get I get majorly depressed sometimes. What do we do with that? You went all high and you're doing good and got the vibes and then crash. It's dark and you're frustrated and you're starting to snap. We need to take care of ourselves. We need to be aware that this happens. The sun is gone. It's cold. There's snow on the ground. It will come back. Sun will come back. The sun will come back, but it's going to be a long time from now. So as we go into the holidays. Okay. It's really important to get your sleep. Don't uh, disrupt your routine. Okay. So if you've noticed that you've been staying up super late and you normally don't do that, probably time to knock it off. Probably time to knock it off. You're getting up way earlier than you normally do because, you know, Black Friday shopping and families in town and all that business. Knock that off. So this is a time to focus on ourselves and oh. take care of ourselves. Which we are always thinking about everybody else because it's the holidays. That's right. Don't We're all thinking about who's coming to visit. And how can I take care of them? Take a step back and take care of yourself. And don't shoot for perfection because you're never going to get there. Lower those expectations. Okay, lower the expectations. That's fair. I love all of these tips. What are other ones? We're going to have a lot of family and friends around. Okay. And there's a lot of details. Mm. Cooking food, decorating for Christmas. Mm -hmm. But what's really important is just to keep in mind to be present. To be present with those around you and enjoy them. That's really what it's all about. It's not about the fancy, the goobles and the bobbles that you got and how beautiful that looks. Yes, the lights are great and the tree is fantastic. You can have a Charlie Brown tree and still have a wonderful Christmas. Yes, you can. You don't even have to have a tree. Yes. We all have Christmas and Thanksgiving traditions. Yes. And? Enjoy those traditions and keep those traditions. Mm -hmm. And then maybe even think about, especially if you've had a loss or there's somebody missing around the table. Yes. How about a new tradition? Okay. How about going forward? Being willing to update your traditions. Just because somebody's no longer in the mix doesn't mean that tradition just falls off and it's gone. Right. I like that. Families can change. Okay. Yes. They change all the time. Yes. We might not like change, but gosh dang it, that's what happens. <laughs> At this time of family and friends, mm-hmm. play a little. Oh. Laugh a little. Okay. Enjoy a lot. So we're in the moment. We're having fun. We're not thinking about what we have. We're thinking about who we are with. 
Yes. I love it. Yes. Be present for those that are with us. Jim, so we're talking about normal run of the mill feeling a little bit a little bit blue during the holidays. When do we know that we've tipped a little bit farther than just the normal run of the mill blues? That's a hard question, but as we said, everybody has kind of a problem with the weather and spending money and not taking care of ourselves during the holidays. But come January, there is kind of the resolution thing and I feel bad about that and there's a little thing there but after that if you're still kind of down and blue Mm -hmm. and if it kind of is stuck with you okay and you start finding that it's difficult to get through each day Mm. and it continues on every day after day now when you say continuing on you mean like my alarm went off i don't want to get out of bed i don't want to take a shower i don't even really want to interact with anybody if that's like the day to day the day to day everybody has that day right but when I, that, that when this that, weekend <laughs> when that day gets to be two weeks mm. when that day gets to be three weeks and it's the same every day and i can't get out of this situation i'm in okay maybe it's time to ask for help and what would that look like number one is to recognize that you're not getting better you are concerned with what's happening to you okay and it's disrupting every day it's disrupting what's going on, whether you're raising children or working, but Mm. it's just not working now. Okay. So you've gotten to that point where you're realizing, oh man, this is, this is every single day. This is not getting better. I am in a full on rut. But what if you don't even notice that? What if it's been going on forever and you're just like, this is what it is. The good news is if you have good friends, they will tell you you're in a rut. And that's a responsibility of people around you is to say, I'm concerned about you. There's nothing wrong with telling somebody, hey, are are you okay right now? That's right. That's exactly right. I care for you. And what would that sound like to a friend where you're like, hey, Jim, are you are you doing okay right now? I mean, a lot of faking it till you make it. How would I, as a friend, if you're trying to hide how you're feeling from me, what are my signs to be like, all right, enough. Enough. Anger. Okay. Irritability. Not sleeping. Mm-hmm. Not performing. Sleeping too much. Mm-hmm. Not eating. Drinking a lot. I'm looking for changes. But it's the holidays. No. After the holidays. Oh, that's, dang it. Okay. <laughs> He got us. He got us already. (laughs) (laughs) After the holidays have come and gone, the family has dispersed, and you're sitting there by your lonesome, and you're realizing, I am not feeling very good. I haven't been feeling good for a while. Time to call comprehensive health care. Time to call somebody. Time to call somebody. Doesn't have to be specifically comprehensive health care. You want to make sure that, you know, you're talking to your doctor, right? Your, Your primary physician first. That's a great source. What would be another great source? Yakima has several organizations that are very good. Love it. Yes. Are they free? Are they free? What a word. That's a hard question. It is. It is not a question to ask yourself if you really think you need some help. Let's not go there yet. Let's, Let's talk about that when you're getting help. Okay. And then as you're getting the help, they can work on on those parts of yes, the, the financial frustrations. Don't let that be the reason you're not asking for help. Yes. So primary care doctors. Okay. Your personal doctor. Mm-hmm. Comprehensive health care. Yes. Catholic like charities. Okay. Farm workers behavioral health. Okay. And quite a few very good counselors in yes. Yakima. Yakima of Pediatrics has a teen clinic. Like there's just so many different yes. resources depending on what age you are. And I'm going to be listing a lot of these links over on our website, kffm.com. Try to be aware. Now, Jim, how long have you been in this field? I have been with Comprehensive for 17 years. Whoa. So you are like a super pro at this stuff. Some days I am, yes. I, I like how he said that because you can't be a pro at everything, right? You are the community education coordinator. So you try to like have your hands and know about every single little thing around there. Anything cool going on that you would like to share? There's always some cool things going on. Ooh, all right. Part of our mission statement is to provide education to the seven counties that we serve. Seven counties. So we do education around mental health, mental health first aid classes. Mm. We do parenting classes. We have a parenting class starting at Children's Village on March 2nd. Now, would that parenting class only be for people who have 
have children with disabilities? That parenting class is for any parent. parent. Any age? Okay. Foster parent. So it does not matter what age. If you are wanting some parenting advice, that is coming up. Free parent education. Free. Free, free, free. Not everything is free, but this one is. This one is. Where could people find out all the information? Do you have a calendar of events? We have a calendar. You can go to our website. It's C-O-M-P-H-C.org. And the calendar of events that we have coming up. Perfect. Anything that you're running that I need to know about? Well, I run our parenting program, <gasps> okay. which we'll be doing at Children's Village. Well, there we, we go. We're going to have a parenting program, a six-week program in Spanish in Mabton, Love starting it. in January. You can oh. find that information on our website. And we do offer at any time to any interested group in those communities that we serve, all the way down to Walla Walla, suicide awareness mm-hmm. and intervention. And that is a training for anyone, parents, teachers, teachers, aunts and community uncles, groups, mm-hmm. any group at all. And that's also offered at no cost in those communities. Thank you for having all these free classes that people can do. Give them the website once more if they're like, oh, he just listed off a bunch of cool stuff. I have no idea where I'm going. Yeah, our website is C O M P hc.org or you can call us up at 575 575- 4084. This Mental Health Monday, talking about the blues. Normal to feel a little down. It's a little gray out there. Got a lot of family. Probably you've spent a little bit more than you were supposed to, and now you're trying to figure that business out. But if after all of the holidays are done and you are just still feeling not so good about yourself, you're you're doing the same thing every single day, it is time to ask for some help. And if you were that friend, it's, it's time to step up and be like, hey, Jim, <laughs> get out of bed. Seriously, we're going to go get some DQ. I don't know if that would be your thing, but would that get it's you It's a good bed? start. It's a good start. <laughs> Blizzards for everyone. <laughs> we will put this full interview over at KFFM.com. If you ever have a question about anything having to do with mental health, definitely can message us. You can give us a call, 972-1073. And at the very first Monday of each month, they are in. So anything else you want to leave people with before well, we... Thank you very much and have a happy holidays. Happy holidays, Jim. Thank you.